Welcome to the demo for the U.S. Federal Agency Privacy Threshold Analysis and Privacy Impact Assessment. In this demo, these two templates will be linked together to demonstrate how they can be used to first gather preliminary information about a project or system and determine whether a full privacy impact assessment is required, and second, to conduct the full privacy impact assessment if necessary. These templates are based on the Department of Homeland Security's Privacy Threshold Analysis and Privacy Impact Assessment templates which are publicly available at dhs.gov. To begin the workflow, the project approver would assign the privacy threshold analysis to a respondent, who typically would be someone at a component office of the agency. The respondent would then fill out the PTA and submit it back to the approver. The PTA includes a variety of question types, including freeform text, multi-select questions, as well as yes-no responses. The threshold also includes a section where the respondent can provide their own recommendation as to whether or not a PIA or other steps are required. After the respondent has completed the threshold and submitted it back to the approver, the approver can then review the answers that were provided by the respondent. Here they can flag risks, add recommendations for how to mitigate the risk, as well as request more information if needed. The approver can then add their determination of whether or not a PIA or other next steps are required. If the approver determines that a PIA is needed, it can then be sent to the respondent who will be greeted with welcome text explaining what a PIA is, what it should accomplish, and its purposes. The respondent can then begin to move through the various sections and answer the PIA questions. The questions are a combination of freeform text, multi-select, and yes-no questions. Each question also includes a text box where the respondent can provide additional information or context where necessary. This allows the federal agency to provide the narrative-based PIA in order to tell the story to the executive branch or to the public at large in accordance with the Privacy Act and E-Government Act. When the respondent is finished, they can then submit the PIA back to the approver so that they can review the answers. Once again, the approver will have the opportunity to review the answers that were provided by the respondent, flag risks, provide any recommendations on how to mitigate the risk, and request additional information if needed. Once the approver is satisfied with the PIA, they can continue to risk tracking. Here the approver can review all of the risk that was flagged by the PIA, add additional descriptions or recommendations on how to mitigate the risk, as well as provide additional internal notes. Once the approver is satisfied, they can complete risk tracking and complete the project. This concludes the demo for the U.S. Federal Agency Privacy Threshold Analysis and Privacy Impact Assessment Templates.